What's up, you guys? How you doing today? So, I was reading these uh, comments while I was in trade chat in uh, Warframe, and I'm actually going to bring the comments over so you guys can see these as well. Um, but basically what was happening was, uh, somebody said in the comments, and I think I just refreshed my browser and now I can't find it. Here it is. Okay. Here. Here you guys go. Oh, you know what? Let me move this first so we can still see this. Oh, actually, before I do that too, um, hello YouTube. How's everybody doing? Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. But here's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, the, the thing that they said, I'm reading through the comments, and they said you should bring back, um, what is it, grinding trade chat, which I did in real time, which is kind of what I'm doing exactly at this moment. So this is all like a straight, real recording. I can't promise we're going to make any trades. Uh, what I've been doing lately is just recording the trades and then talking over them so you guys can see the trades being made. But, like, I've already been here for 20 minutes and nothing has happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the region from North America to uh, the uh, United Europe. There we go. Europe is where we're going. And, okay, now we're in the Europe servers. Oh, we're not going to be in the Europe... No, that's never mind. That's my clan. I was like, oh my god, there's nobody in here. Make sure you guys do that when you switch servers. You make sure you check that there's a lot of people in here. That's the whole point of switching servers. Uh, second point of switching servers is that uh, as of right now, for them, it's about 7 p.m. Um, because it's about 1.05 for me in the afternoon. So that's another thing you guys want to do. Oh, I'm transit 42 max. All right, so anyway, I'll bring this back over here. And um, yeah, another thing that happens when we're live streaming... I just got a sub and I'm not even streaming. You guys are the best. Um, VJ Hano here. You know what? I'll bring this over to you guys can see this. See it at the bottom of the screen right there. VJ Hono. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yo, I figured it out. Glad to support you. Yo, Hono, you are awesome, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate the heck out of it. You are awesome, sus. Um, uh, this is just one way to get a glyph code, but let me know when I'm live what platform you're on and I'll get you a glyph code, and uh, you can rock that in-game. That's not the only way to get glyph codes, you guys. You can get them for free just by being a part of my streams for a while, but uh, they're limited, so that's why I do it that way, because I don't have an infinite number of glyph codes. So I really want to give them out to people that really want them, you know, and not just people that are uh, flying by for like a minute or two, just to be like, um, yeah, you just give me your glyph so I can have it, but I'll never use it, you know? Like, I'd, I'd rather people just really want to use it. Um, Okay, so anyway, I'm going through the comments over here, and this is what I said. Bring, you know, they said bring back grinding trade chat, which again, I do that live in real time. Um, this is going to be interesting. I think I'm going to have to do that because when I click on game, we're going to lose it. All right, so I want to just post the want to buy the Necros Prime parts, and now here back to multitasking. So this is what we're going to do. Um, basically, you guys will see like how I read comments, and this the whole point of this video is showing you guys multitasking. So I posted that in there. And now I'm really, like, it's it's posted, and all I'm really looking to do is just, you know, look for pop-ups or whatever of people wanting to buy stuff. So I'm loving how rewarding corrupted mod farming is. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That was a nice offer. Um, the edgy one. Would you look at my name? Also, amazing video. I want the giveaway. That's the name. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. I'm going to pop up. I have blue P, uh, VP. Awesome. Look at this. I was in America for like 20 minutes, nothing, and then this is like my first post in Europe. Um, <clears throat> awesome invite. Okay. And yeah, another thing that happens when we are uh, when we're grinding in real time is that when my house gets busy or whatever, we get all that background noise and I can't cut that crap out. So I don't know if Jake's about to start barking or whoever just came home, but I don't know if you guys heard it, but I hear all that stuff in the background anyway. Just a second. All right, so he's going to invite me in a second. And now we have, um, to look at my name, amazing video. Keep up these types of series. Of course we will. Um, Xbox One Trade Chat has really been getting interesting lately. Warframe like Hydroids are being sold for 50 Platinum, which I understand completely in addition um, I have been doing vault runs too, so that's awesome, so that's good. Um, somebody asked a question, actually. Um, they want to know about corrupted mods, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, prices on ribbons, you know, veiled and not veiled and stuff, and how you figure all that out. So I'm actually going to pull this over for you guys to see. Um, there, we're going to go in there, and I think I hit the wrong thing. Yeah, oh, damn it. I totally hit the wrong thing. All right. 
I, br I brought up my Streamlabs instead of my Streamlabs bot. Ugh, come on, get out of here. So anyway, this is all I wanted to show you guys. We're going to go to commands. Uh, we're going to go to the commands for the channel. And I have this command for Warframe, which is basically veiled. So if you guys do exclamation point veiled, what we're going to see is here. Veiled Riven price, uh, re veiled Riven average prices. Shotguns are 80 to 150. This is if they're veiled, you don't know what they are. Pistols are 30 to 50. Rifles are 15 to 30. And melees are 20 to 90. This is what the Riven experts that we know in our community have been telling me. Um, they're the ones that I trust. They're the ones that have made like loads and loads. I mean, when I say loads of platinum, I'm not talking the typical loads of platinum. I mean like... We had one dude made 42,000 platinum and just, you know, like uh, a few ribbon trades and stuff like that. So they're really, really um, on top of what they're doing here. Uh, but that's basically the price that, you know, ribbons wind up going for and stuff like that. If they're veiled and you don't know what they are. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it if you hate breaking open ribbons and you don't like how hard the process is. Um, then I would totally recommend that... You guys wind up, uh, where is it? Thank you. Don't forget to tip your waiter. Love you guys. Um, so if the ribbon's a pain in the balls for you and you don't want to go through the process of the trouble of opening the ribbon to find out what it is, then maybe, maybe get rid of it, you know, at a veiled price. Like if it's really, really something that you just dread doing and you absolutely don't want to do it, then maybe it makes sense to do that. But I would recommend, like, depending on the ribbon, um... Melee ribbons, you have a lot of options, primaries and uh, secondaries. You have a lot of options, so maybe it's worth it for those. But shotgun ribbons, you have... Shotgun ribbons in this game are good. And I feel like the statistics are probably a little bit higher in your favor to unveil a ribbon that is really good. So it's up to you guys how you want to do it. But I would, I would totally not sell shotgun ribbons. I would just unveil them whatever it takes. Um, that does, it's not going to guarantee you're going to wind up with something good. It's also annoyingly not going to guarantee that you're going to wind up with a ribbon that isn't, um, for your sentinels. Like there's a sweeper, uh, shotgun ribbon that annoys the crap out of me when I get that. Cause it is just the stupidest. It's like so useless. And I can't stand when I, when I wind up getting that kind of, uh, uh, like ribbon. And I'm like, why, why, why does this even need a ribbon? Like get out of, get out of my face with this. But the Sentinel shotgun ribbons, I just, ugh. like, I don't, that's never what I'm looking for. Never. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying I don't want any of them is what I'm saying. Like, I definitely don't want any of that stuff. Um, so anyway, back to the comments and stuff. As far as like, how do you price out ribbons that are unveiled? Um, that is a whole nother animal. That's a whole nother beast. Like, you need to understand, you need to have a good understanding of the weapon statistics, um, whether, you know, you have, like, you need to understand every weapon in the game and what it is that you want on that weapon, what it is you want to increase and all that sort of stuff. Um, but not just what you want to increase, what you think the community wants to increase too, what the majority of people are actually looking for, um, because that's really, really, really going to make um, a big difference as far as how much you can sell those ribbons for. So you definitely want to be looking for something that um, is going to wind up giving you a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, like a lot of X uh, plat, like a lot of plat, because, you know, people aren't going to spend platinum on ribbons if, you know, the stats are crap and the weapon is crap. You got to find a good ribbon for a good weapon. And when I say a good ribbon, I mean, you know, like the, the stats increase the weapons, you know, important features a lot. So like, for example, awesome videos, keep it the good word. I got nothing to sell, by the way. All good. Um, okay, you guys are, I'm just going to give you guys shout outs here since I'm doing this in real time. So you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the shout outs. Um, uh, what you call it? So here, let me get this posted again. And we'll go back to the comments for a little bit. But yeah, as far as the ribbons goes, you guys, you it's it's really it's a whole other animal. Um, I don't know everything in the game. Like like the math for trading is completely different math for weapon statting. Um, which is why when you guys come to my channel on Twitch or whatever and you're asking me about ribbons and stuff like that and how good they are, I usually direct you to somebody else that's there on my channel, um, which is Nubal Zero or Cloudy, uh, Little Cloud. Um 
And I usually tell you, ask those two guys because they sell ribbons constantly and they understand how well it works. And I'm, I'm still in the process of learning from them, but sooner or later we'll have a video out so I can get you guys a little bit more up to date on, on ribbons and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, PC, not so early squad. It's all good. You got, you're here anyway. You made it to the party and that's all that matters. How much will Necros go for when vaulted? So when Necros gets vaulted, um, it's every time, every time I get this, every time a frame is getting vaulted and it's, it's, it's a guess every time. There's no way to tell how much something is going to go for, um, ever, because it really depends on the community. It depends on like, what if after Necros gets vaulted, DE just does something to him and completely screws him up. Um... Uh, yeah, def will buy as many as you want to sell. Um, okay, so basically, whenever something gets vaulted, there's no real way to tell how much it's worth. Now, my like taking wild guesses is how much you know this stuff is going to go for is solely based off of um, you know the importance of the frame and how much I feel he really should be valued. Um, Oh, good. Uh, invite, please. Okay. So, basically what I would think Necros is going to wind up going for. Like, what I would love to see him go for, because I feel that he is worth this 100%. 100 and... 100 billion percent. Uh, six months after Necros gets vaulted, I would like to see him going for five or 600 platinum. Um... But that doesn't mean that's going to happen just because that's what I want to see doesn't mean that that's going to be the case You know like there's a there's my experience in the game and my understanding a lot of things that casual players don't understand and casual players tend to screw themselves out uh, Of a lot of platinum and they tend to screw them You know everybody else out of a lot of platinum too because they're they're putting these low-ass prices and everybody thinks that that's how much It's supposed to go for when in reality six months down the road There are far less necro sets to be traded in existence in the first place than there were when he first got vaulted because as time goes on people keep buying up the necro sets and then there's less uh you know like not every, people buy the necro sets and they don't always craft them but a lot of the times people are buying them to craft them for themselves and that means there's a lot less necro sets in existence now this is a video game so it doesn't follow exact supply and demand but it still plays a little factor the less necro sets that there are in existence for you to you know snag up and stuff means that you have the ability to continue to raise your price and a lot of people don't remember to do that months after it's been gone which is why you still see Saren selling for so low which is why you still see um who else is vaulted right now that sells low nick selling for so low mag selling for so low i mean sure given after what de did to them a lot of people aren't super interested in nicks or mag but still that doesn't defeat that that doesn't negate the fact that there are there there are not as many sets in existence right now as there were when you know Mag and uh, especially Nyx first got vaulted. I mean, with how long it's been since Nyx has been back into the game, you guys should be selling your Nyx sets, and I shit you not, you should be selling your Nyx sets for eight hundred plus platinum, maybe even a thousand platinum. I don't know exactly how many Necro sets, I mean, uh, Nyx sets there are in existence in the game, but when Nyx got taken out of the game, there was an average of around. 20,000 or less concurrent players at any given time, um, at least according to Steam. Now, it's been like 60,000, and that doesn't include people that start up Warframe without the Steam launcher, you know, so there's even more people on. I mean, think about it, the Planes of Eidolon dropped, you have all these new people playing the game, and these mother effers are still selling nicks for like 200, 300, 400 platinum. What are you doing? Like, raise your price and sell that. There is an enormous influx of people now and there's not enough supply. There's way more demand and there's way less supply. And as far as like, again, this is a video game. So you guys got to understand that supply and demand works a little bit different in, uh, in, in this game. You don't realize it, but you need to figure out the demand on something. You can't leave it up to everybody here because everybody here, um, or at least the majority of people here, may be a casual player. So as they're playing the game and, you know, like they're finding out, oh, there's a Nick set in existence. Let me go get it out of trade chat. They don't know that it's been gone for that long. They don't know how few sets are in existence. So it's cool that they even decided to ask. I mean, if you guys don't have a Nick set, I'm recommending you snag that thing now. Or you could wait because it's been so long that it's like, my God, 
any day now, Nyx is going to be coming back into the game for you guys to go and grab out of the vault or, or, or whatever. You guys can go run and farm Nyx again whenever she comes back. If she comes back, I don't know. DE hasn't said anything. And it feels like it's been around two years. But basically the point that I'm getting at is, is that people don't understand supply and demand. They don't include, you know, the fact that months have gone by. So there has to be less to buy in existence. So raise your freaking price. They just copy everybody else and that goes on forever and nobody ever becomes a leader. Nobody ever steps it up and raises the price and you're at fault for that. Not like you watching this video, but the person that's selling the thing for the same price it was going for like five months ago, six months ago, like you were at your own fault and you are causing yourself uh, to suffer you may look at it like oh well I just wanted to get rid of it really quick and and that's fine but not everybody does that people just look at everybody else's prices and then go oh that must be what it's going for so why don't I just sell it for that and then that person screws themselves out of making a lot more plat than they could have but let's be real for a second even though Nyx is kind of garbage at the moment, and I, it, it pains me to say that because I used to use her a lot and, and I still have a, a, a soft spot in my heart for Nyx um, nobody, nobody's using her, you know, but at the same time, there are far less sets in existence. So, I mean, at least five or 600 platinum, you should be selling her for just for the sheer fact of when somebody tells you, oh, your price is too high. I'm going to go get it from someone else. Good luck on that. Because people aren't just super stocked up on Nyx, throwing them away. Remember, when Nyx got vaulted, there was 20,000 or less concurrent players on Warframe. And now we have over 60 plus thousand. We've reached over 100,000. You know, like, it depends on the day. But there's just an, an enormous amount of concurrent players in the game right now. So, as far as, like, this question goes, like, how much will Necros go when vaulted? Um, immediately when he gets vaulted... It's not going to change by much. He should go up definitely, but people are stupid and they continue to sell stuff for the same price that I've been buying these things for um, as soon as something gets vaulted. So that's one thing. You, It doesn't matter what he's going for. What matters is that you know to raise the price. That as soon as he gets vaulted and he's not farmable anymore, that affected the price because it's not so easy to go get him anymore. You're, we're, we are relying now on everybody else in the game that just happened to have leftover relics. So that makes it... Uh, harder to get Necros by uh, slightly, right? And then the more time that goes on, the less Necro sets are actually going to be in existence because people are going to buy them to craft them for themselves. There's always new players joining the game looking for stuff. So that's going to drive the price up as well because there's going to be less sets in existence. But remember, you guys have to be the leader to go and do that. You have to be the leader that puts your foot down and raises the price and sticks to it and stop following everybody else that's a casual player that doesn't watch these videos, that doesn't understand how trade chat works. They're just following the herd and the herd is doing the same thing. It's just a bunch of lemmings following lemmings. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. I'm just painting a picture here. But hopefully you guys found this helpful. Remember, I know I didn't say it in the beginning of the video, so hopefully it was a good break for you guys. But like, subscribe. Um, and uh, make sure you guys watch the videos in their entirety and leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want to win some giveaways, starting with your platform, either PC, PS4, or Xbox One. And as always, feel free to join me over on twitch.tv forward slash neonis 7 where you guys can also earn giveaways versus them being random like they are here on YouTube. I can get into that more on my channel when you guys stop by and everything like that. But hopefully you're having an amazing day. Absolutely love your faces, and I will see you guys in the next video.